As well as the standard fair use policy, this video is protected under the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, 1787. Moors are awake. We are taking our place on this planet. He himself, that he's shutting down the lobby because the bathroom's closed. And after he comes and tells me, then Chris needs to come here himself and tell me and see the bathroom or else I'm not leaving. All right. These people are insane. The police, the police, the whatever they are, they're gone. They out of there. They don't want no part of this. And I do this because I know there are those of us who can't speak up for themselves, who don't have cameras and phones and can stream and know how to do any of that shit so that they can be held accountable with what's being done to them all over this land. How was it, bro? Working just fine, huh? All right, all right, there you go. There's a witness. Yeah, they hating like a man. It don't make no sense, man. Call the police on me for using the bathroom, man. Hoping that I was black and they come here and beat me up and shoot me or some shit. Yeah. Make no sense how people treat for no reason. Goofy ass makes eight bucks an hour and can treat people any kind of way. This more sovereign citizen loves playing the victim. Excuse me, sir. Why do you spend so much time in Starbucks causing a ruckus? Every time you're in Starbucks, there's some type of issue. But in your mind, everybody else is the problem. You're not the problem, even though you're the common denominator. You had multiple different Starbucks, and every time there's an issue. But the issue is never you. This is how Morris science twists and manipulates people's brains. This man is a menace to society thanks to Morris science it's unbelievable it's can I just it's unbelievable like this is this is the the reality that we are it's just it's just unbelievable but it is real it's reality so it's believable all right be light brother so it is believable yeah yeah he was he been in there about five years ago he had to go he had to go he got the bathroom blocked off. They're going to close the lobby early. Like, they out of control. Yeah, let him come. So, Tata, it took you, it took you 30 minutes to come over here after you called the police on me for using the bathroom. Yes. What do you have to say for yourself? Sewage problems. Sewage problems. How does sewage file problems affect two perfectly working bathrooms? You had who? You had to who come out? The plumber. What plumbing company was that? You're not sure. So I just documented here on my streaming live video that the bathrooms are working perfectly. A witness just came in, used the bathroom. Bathrooms are working perfectly. So right now, what is happening is you are discriminating. 
from the public in this area because I guess they're homeless people from using the bathroom and I command you to cease and desist your activities. If Chris or your store manager wants to come here and see for themselves that the bathroom is working perfectly fine, they will need to do that. Otherwise, this lobby will not close. I am the landlord. Do you? Am I clear? <laughs> you serious? Hi, sorry, I have my store manager on. All right, what's his name? Bryson. Bryson. Bryson should come in person. You should come in person, Bryson, because your building's gonna get leaned and you're gonna get evicted. Okay, your personnel just called the police. Your personnel just called the police on us for using the bathrooms that are working perfectly fine. The police left. They did not engage whatsoever. So I suggest you advise Tai Tai to go and verify that the bathrooms are indeed operational and functional to reopen them, to leave this lobby open as it states on your charter, 4.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. and to do not disturb my peace again. As a matter of fact, Tai Tai should, he should go home for the rest of the day and not come back ever again. Or else I will add your name, Bryson, to the lien and to the affidavit for this discrimination. Are we clear? My name is Kyle. I'm the indigenous bar of this land. I'm the landlord. So do not get yourself evicted by engaging in callable activities like discriminating the public of the public bathroom of a restaurant. I come in here, I spend money, I expect to use the bathroom. The bathroom's working, I don't expect to be told it's not working. That was a lie. As I clearly have streamed it live on YouTube, so everyone in the world knows the bathrooms are working perfectly fine. Kyle Bay, I don't have a name, I have an appellation. Kyle Bay. So. I think I understand this Kyle Bay and why he's always in Starbucks. For one, I think he's homeless and he thinks that he can go into Starbucks, spend probably a dollar and use up their Wi-Fi and sit in the store for countless hours. And that's not necessarily how it works. Just because you spend a little dollar in the store doesn't mean you have the right to sit in it all day and now you want to use their bathrooms. I'm not quite sure what the bathroom issue is, but this man is always having some type of confrontation with the workers of Starbucks. And I'm sure the issue is him and not them. You should come and see for yourself, Bryson, because Ty Ty is lying. He's lying. The bathrooms are working perfectly fine. Okay, so we're not we're not getting kicked out of anywhere. This is our land. You try and kick us out, and your this Starbucks will be shut down very shortly. So go govern govern yourself accordingly. I'm done. You talk to him. You do a better job and go find you somewhere else to work. If you can't treat people better, Ty Ty. The bathrooms are working. Go confirm it. I just confirmed it for you. Now you can reconfirm it unless you like to rebut and let me know that they're not working. Would you? Do you have a rebuttal? I don't feel welcome. When I came in there and I expressed to you the urgency of needing to use the bathroom, I didn't feel welcome as your customer, Tai Tai. I didn't even feel welcome as a part of this community that you are participating and serving us. Uh, uh, what do you call us? We're supposed to be neighbors, right? So I don't feel welcome, all right? I don't. And if you have a claim and your claim is false, you should quickly correct yourself so that you won't be in dishonor. Because as you can see, being in dishonor does not bring aid. It brings rebuke and punishment. And I'm not here to rebuke or punish anyone just for the sake of it. I'm here because I adore my people. And our people, I don't know if you are my people or not, but people that look, people that look like me, no. No, no, don't say you're African-American. Just say you're from this land. 
And if you are from this land, those of us from this land, we are one blood. Nationhood is unity. Without unity, we are not a nation. Without nationhood, we are not recognized among any of the nations. There is no law, international law, that will protect us without nationhood. Oh boy, now this more sovereign citizen, he's trying to drop some knowledge on this brother here. Like, please stop it. He, he, he sounds like he's actively trying to recruit this gentleman into the Morris cult. I'm sorry, but this brother clearly has his life together. He has a job. He is not going to join your cult. So stop it with the soliloquies. Is that clear to you? Under colorable law, they are allowed to come in and kill us and shoot us because we have no protection, because we have no unity. And without unity, there is no nation. So if you are a brother, if you are a part of the nation of this land, when you see a brother that looks like you, you treat him like you. Treat him like you would want to be treated if you came through that door and you had an urgency. Treat him like yourself. That is honorable. I treat people like I expect people to treat me. I treat people how I want to be treated. If I am dishonorable to you, I deserve it. I deserve to be dishonored. And if you don't, the elements of nature will administer it. That's just how it works. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. That's how it works. And I, 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 I sense that you are an intelligent young man. And that from this point forward, you will no longer stand in dishonor of your own kind. But you will be generous and you will be aware of what's going on and who we are as a nation. Without unity, we are not a nation. Calling on uncolorable activities to protect you is not unity and nationhood. You could have came to me. I could have said, brother, come and look. It's working. You could have said, you know what? You're right. It is working. Let me take down my sign. That is honorable, Ty, Tyrell. And I beseech thee, I beseech thee, I beseech thee to stay in honor. Don't feel bad. I, and we, it, we allowed to make mistakes. Man is, we are allowed to make mistakes. It is, it is once we make the mistake, it is once we, I'm not uncomfortable. I'm, I'm never uncomfortable on my own land. It's, it's impossible for me to be uncomfortable on my own land. You see, I'm not uncomfortable. What I am is, I am pissed off that discrimination is occurring in such a petite, petty way. Locking the bathrooms. That's what they do on their side of town when we come in. You can't use the bathroom. Why would we do it to one another in our own neighbor, in our own community? You know why? Because if you would take a moment to go and see with your own two eyes, don't believe what someone tells you. Go and see with your own two eyes. Flush the toilet, run the water, and you will see, ah, whatever the problem is, it has been resolved. That is the duty of a leader. Are you the leader of this establishment at this point in time? Execute your act, execute your responsibility as a leader and verify when claims are being made. Oh, the toilet's broke. Let me go and verify. No, it's not. That is leadership. I, I, I heard you. I heard you say that. But remember, a man knoweth not from being taught from what someone else says. Go and see it with your own two eyes. And that's just what I did. If I would have went in there and the toilet would have been broke, I would have came back and told you, you know what? You're right. I will go somewhere else. Peace and love. Hey, let's have a